Hello everyone. Welcome to the webinar series on tech creation around cyber physical system under Intel Higher Education program. Today's webinar is on problem solving and innovative approach. In this webinar, we will learn about the various techniques of innovative problem solving approach pertaining to the daily life problems. In the previous webinar, we had discussed about the overview of Intel Higher Education Challenge 2017, its key requirements, and brief introduction to cyber physical system. Let us go through the agenda and the lessons we are going to learn today. Here, we will define the problem solving approach by firstly understanding the challenges in various sectors. Then, we will explain the fundamental skill sets required to solve the identified problems. Further, we will discuss the information and the procedure or steps you will need to consider in the problem solving process. At last, we will look at some real life challenges and its solutions using problem solving approach. Let us begin by talking about some of the problem areas and challenges which can be solved by implementing modern technology. The various problems of agriculture sector can be solved by implementing modern technology. These modern techniques help farmers to easily monitor their crops for water, fertilizer, and pest management, resulting in improved harvest and reduced operating costs. In healthcare, technology is increasingly playing a role in almost all processes, from patient registration to data monitoring from lab tests to self-care tools. Devices like smartphones and tablets are starting to replace conventional monitoring and recording system. Stronger health information systems not only improve everyday medical visits, but they are essential to counter biological or chemical attacks. New hacking threats have emerged in the past two years, and with it has come a large increase and worldwide concern about cybersecurity. In the modern era of digital India and cashless economy, cybersecurity becomes very important to avoid hacking and misuse of user data and their banking detail. Virtual reality could be in the process of merging with the real world, as computer records of the physical environment could be interlaced with the sites like Second Life. It would then be possible to virtually visit real locations, explore a city's restaurants and hotels, and engage in other virtual tourist activity. The goal of energy conservation techniques is to reduce demand, protect and replenish supplies, develop and use alternative energy resources, and to clean up the damage from the prior energy processes. Rapid urbanization has mandated the need for smart city solutions. The smart city solutions are designed to keeping in mind the growing importance of information and communication technology. Our comprehensive suite of smart city solutions ranges from traffic management, energy efficiency, to e-governance, intelligent lighting systems, home and building efficiency systems, and smart healthcare. Engineers must analyze and solve a wide variety of technical problems. Some will be reasonably simple single solution problems. Others will be open-ended and will likely require a team of engineers from several disciplines. The creative problem solving process involves creativity. The problem solvers come up with solutions that are innovative rather than obtaining help to learn the answers or implementing standard procedures. Problem solving requires a combination of science and art. On the technical side, we have maths, physics, chemistry, mechanics, etc. And on the artistic side, we have things such as judgment, prior experience, common sense, know-how, and so on. The engineering problems can be grouped into various types. The one most people think about involves creating a new product. Engineers are also involved in the modification of existing products. 
Business is always looking for a way to do things faster, cheaper, and at the same time better. A good example of this is personal computers. Engineers are involved in developing and improving a procedure or process. This may involve anything from statistics to computer networking to chemistry. Similarly, engineers also have to take into account human factors. The product sh should improve life of user. The goal is to maintain current design and add new features. So now let us see what problem solving involves. So problem solving is a skill, a tool, and a process. It is a skill because once you have learned it, you can use it repeatedly, which is similar to the ability to ride a bicycle or add numbers or speak a language. Yes, it is a tool because it can help you solve an immediate problem or to achieve a goal. Likewise, it is also a process because it involves taking a number of steps. So in this slide, we will see what are the various skill sets which are required in problem solving. There are many different types of information to be collected. Information gathering or understanding more about the problem before proceeding is required. Next is analytical skills, which are also collectively called logical thinking. It is a kind of thinking responsible for selecting the best solution out of all possible solutions. Once you have generated all solutions, it is essential that you select the best one. This is perhaps the most complex part of the problem solving process. Some solutions may not be possible due to circumstances like time constraints, budget, complexity, etc. Evaluate all pros and cons and make a decision. Which course of action do you want to take? Planning is the next course of action or simply implementing the solution. So there are many different types of information to solve any kind of problem. In the slide, you can see various information you will need to consider when beginning the creative problem solving process. These are fact, opinion, concept, assumption, procedure, process, and principle. Facts are simply small pieces of well-known data. These are based on objective details and experience. Opinions are also based on observation and experience, but they are subjective and can be self-serving. When a fact and opinion are presented together, it is an opinionated fact, which may try to indicate the significance of a fact, suggest generalization, or attach value to it. Opinionated facts are often meant to sway the listener to a particular point of view using the factual data. The concepts are general ideas or categories of items or ideas that share common features. Concepts are important pieces of information to help make connections or to develop theories or hypotheses. Assumptions are a type of concept or hypothesis in which something is taken for granted. Procedures are a type of information that tells how to do something with specific steps. These are slightly different, describing continuous actions or operations to explain how something works or operates. These principles are accepted rules or fundamental laws or doctrines, often describing actions or conduct. This slide talks about the procedure in any problem solving approach. The first one is defining. Defining means making sure you understand the correct problem before proceeding. The second one is the information measures, which is understanding more about the problem before proceeding. The third one is analyze the problem, which determines the effectiveness of possible solutions. Then there is generate alternatives, which is generating possible solutions using various tools. Then it is select alternative, which is nothing but selecting the best solutions. Then at the end, it is decide and implement, which is planning the next course of action or implementing the solutions. 
let us talk about some real life problems and its solution in forest areas of major cities across the world there are slums where people live in tight packed house there is no room for windows the rooms are completely dark so some people come up with an idea to solve this problem so they started by analyzing the problem looking at its cost and effectiveness with low tech high reward solar bottle bulb technology plastic soda bottles can transform from garbage to 55 watts of sunlight brought to a dark house in the daytime the goal of this project is to get affordable and doable indoor lighting to the masses in areas with insufficient in infrastructure another example is the g thrive field monitoring system the g thrive field monitoring system addresses the challenge commercial growers face in reliably and easily monitoring their crops for water fertilizer and pest management resulting in improved harvest and reduced operating cost the g thrive field monitoring system provides growers real time measurements for moisture temperature and sunlight and user can monitor it from the app in their mobile the sink that you are seeing in this slide is integrated onto the toilet here is the way it works after you do your business you use the sink to wash your hands the sink uses fresh water but that water is then stored in the tank as gray water and then when the toilet is flushed it uses the gray water instead of more fresh water in this way by implementing a small design we can save water this is yet another example where a small daily life problem can be solved with the help of a modern technology although this webinar is coming to a close i hope that this webinar gave you an overview of innovative approach of problem solving your journey to improve your problem solving skills is just beginning we wish you the best of luck for your project thank you